there are two breweries now in the state who have won GABF awards, but we were a able to acquire a second uh, GABF silver medal uh, for our going stag for the second time. So same beer, same medal, uh, and, but a different category this year. We sent it into what we thought would match better for the beer. Um, and we sent it into the Belgian, uh, Belgian ale slash French ale um, category. And lo and behold, it came out with another silver medal, um, which is really cool. It's extremely um, gratifying for our pr production team to not only you know win one medal, but when you win the second, that really kind of gives you a confidence, okay, this wasn't a fluke. Um, this actually is a great beer. Uh, it's passed over uh, a few different uh, judges' palates um, and just a really good joy, a really great confirmation for our production team and what they do in the back. Um, and just for our team to be able to celebrate a second one is just, it's really fun. It's extremely rare this year, uh, succeeded uh, the, the year that we entered in for the first time and won. Um, this was the largest GABF competition to date. Um, and so it's really fun to win at that competitive level because it really tells my production team that they are really, really good at what they do. And it's really fun to celebrate Oklahoma beers on, on that level, not only just for ourselves, but it gives the state a really cool light. Uh, big shout out to Big Friendly for winning two GABF medals. We got, you know, it, it's in the attention of California breweries, we, we've, uh, or Montana breweries, uh, Australia, Chicago. These are places that I got text messages or Instagram messages from around the world. So it's really neat to see people pay attention to our state in that way. Um, and I just got to give my hat off to our production team because they are really the champions of, of that uh, success and really do a really great job.